2001. Daytime TV viewers are dealt a devastating blow when the 15-year partnership of Kathy Lee Gifford and Regis Philbin is severed forever. And Kathy Lee is replaced with a soap actress named Kelly Ripper. Was she up to the challenge? Could the talk show survive? Answer, definitely. Regis and Kathy Lee were on TV together for 15 years and they sort of felt watching your friend. When Kathy left, it was a really hard shoe to fill. They interviewed Sybil Shepherd, Bernadette Peters, and in walks Kelly Ripa, who was on All My Children for 12 years. And normally, once you're on a soap opera, you're stuck. But Kelly really wowed everyone. And since leaving soaps behind, Kelly Ripa has cleaned up, building one of the most astonishing careers on television. Kelly's got that unbelievable, indescribable kind of spark that just makes people watch her and like her. Everyone can kind of relate to her. She's the girl next door. She's got a great personality, and that's what we just like. She's funny, she's sparkly, she says exactly what she wants. Oh yeah, don't let the cute act fool you. From the get-go, Kelly's known what she wants and how to get it. When she signed her first contract to be Regis's new AM sidekick in 2001, she walked off with a reported starting salary of $1 million a year. Going up! And just three years later, it was already time for Kelly to renegotiate. So she asked for one hell of a raise. In 2004, she signed a five-year deal worth a reported 40 million bucks. Let's break it down. That's eight million dollars a year, thirty-six thousand dollars an episode, ten dollars a second in Kelly's pocket, just because, well, she's so damn cute. And that doesn't include her night job. Kelly makes even more cash as the star of her own primetime sitcom, Hope and Faith. I got really lucky. And what's up next? Just a whole lot more. For one thing, NBC is reportedly considering Kelly to take over Katie Couric's coveted spot on the Today Show if Katie leaves. They're thinking of giving her this three-hour show in the morning that's like the bread and butter of NBC. So just the fact that she's even mentioned underscores her power and influence even more. And corporate America's finding out just how influential Kelly can be. There's a famous story that once she mentioned Jurgen's natural glow, which she used to keep her skin so gorgeous and fabulous. And her mentioning it on the show helped create a waiting list of 38 thousand people. It got to the point where actually people were selling bottles that they had on eBay. But Kelly knows better than to promote products for free. In 2005, she got a slice of a $50 million ad campaign for 7up Plus, and she's landed TV ads for Pantene Shampoo and the bottled water Aquafina. I like water. We're friends. Kelly Ripa is like a mini Oprah Winfrey in the making. When she endorses a product, the stuff flies off the shelves. With Kelly Ripa already a completely bankable commodity, she could easily have taken home between 10 and 50 million dollars for the endorsements she's done recently. Kelly is a busy lady, so she doesn't really get the chance to go out a whole lot. But when she does, she's usually at a charity event. She really loves to support the certain charities that she's committed to. First, there's Mothers Against Drunk Driving. And for Kelly, this charity's personal. Something that's very important to her because her sister was actually involved in a drunk driving accident. And she's on the board of that charity. Then, Kelly gives big to the Elizabeth Blazer Pediatric AIDS Foundation. I'm just honored to be a part of it, really. And sometimes, when Kelly gives money to charity, she gets something in return. At a charity auction in 2004, she bid on this first-of-its-kind Hello Kitty pendant adorned with nine carats of diamonds, rubies, onyx, and citrine. 
You have to understand, this is not just any necklace. It was designed by Kimora Lee Simmons, who's the wife of hip-hop empresario Russell Simmons, and it was all in the name of charity. When the bidding ended, Kelly got her kitty, and the charity walked off with $25,000 of her money. Twenty-five grand for a piece of jewelry is nothing for a woman like Kelly. I mean, she makes more than that in an hour. Yes, things are looking pretty good for this former dancing queen. And who knows how far she can take it. Who doesn't love Kelly Ripper? And what can't she do? You know, I think she could be Hillary Clinton's running mate for vice president. Hillary and Kelly, I think it would be completely fabulous. We couldn't have said it better ourselves. It's the season finale you've been waiting for.